our main event tonight at PWI's Hot August Fights, Mitsuharu Masawa and Yoshinari Ogawa taking on Vinny Masaro and Doug Williams. Ron Head joining you here along with Michael Modis, and we have a coup of the century. Hello everybody, glad to be here, Ron. Um, man, th this was such a great honor to have Masawa and, and Ogawa here tonight. Um, it, it was a dream of mine to uh, bring Japanese style wrestling to the United States and it happened this night and it was very, very emotional, very exciting for all of us at uh, Pro Wrestling Iron. Well, this truly an international collision as representing the United Kingdom, anarchist Doug Williams, maybe the finest, most underrated fighter in the entire industry, teaming up with Vincenzo Massaro, Vinny Massaro, and Doug Williams, the underdogs here tonight. And I'll tell you, you know, Doug Williams, I've, I've wrestled Doug actually in Ireland, and uh, what a competitor. What He's incredibly strong, very agile, um, knows every hold in the book. Uh, I'll tell you, he, he really is uh, an, an amazing uh, athlete. He knows every hold and every counter hold just as important, and his tag team partner, maybe one, or, one of the underutilized, most underrated fighters as well in the business, Vinny Massaro. I couldn't agree with you more. Vinny Massaro, an incredible wrestler, um, you know, actually really from Italy, not born in the U.S. Came here when he was eight years old and uh, became a big wrestling fan and now he's living his dream. The thing I think that's really held Vinny back probably more than anything has got to be his physique. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm not blind and, and I'm looking and I see a lot of pasta. Well, do not be deceived by that physique. That man is deceptively agile. He knows how to move and he knows how to take your head off. And if you think that he's got that physique, against him, think again, because Vinny Massaro has all the tools. He really does. I mean, as far as, you know, I'm not taking anything away from his technical knowledge. I mean, he's, a, he's an incredible wrestler. Um, but again, that physique costs him, and you see it after about the 10-minute match of a, a 10-minute mark of a match, you really see it uh, starting to wear on Vinny Massaro. Warren Michaels with our official introduction. Crowd very receptive to Doug Williams. In the anticipation leading up to this match, the butterflies in Massaro and Williams' stomachs probably resemble more vampire bats right now. You know, actually, Ron, true story, I, I didn't tell Doug who he was going to be wrestling on the uh, Hot August Fights uh, uh, event. And uh, when he showed up to the U.S. and I told him that it was going to be Mitsuhara Masawa and uh, Yoshinari Ogawa, he was, uh, he was beside himself, very excited, um, has a lot of respect for Misawa, um, as, as do really anybody that knows anything about professional wrestling. If you like professional wrestling, you've got to know something about uh, Misawa and his popularity in Japan. As well as Ogawa, and this, for the record, is Yoshinari Ogawa's pro debut in the United States. Never before has he competed in a U.S. ring tonight here at Hot August Fights. History is being made, stepping through the ropes for the very first time. At, at this time, Ogawa was the uh, current NOAA heavyweight champion. You know, wrestling him, I, I first tour in Japan, I wrestled him at the Budokan Arena. We went 18 minutes, and um, his style reminds me a lot of Bret Hart. He's a, he's a lighter Bret Hart, but uh, very reminiscent of Bret Hart, I think. Those opening chords to Mitsuharu Misawa's music. You want to talk about a legend, a household name in Japan, Mitsuharu Misawa, Hall of Famer, wrestler of the decade, a man who can be compared to someone like Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, Bret Hart, or even Vince McMahon. The owner of Pro Wrestling Noah is making his return after over 10 years in the United States. There he is, the boss of Pro Wrestling Noah. We call him Sancho. Mitsuhara Misawa. What an incredible, uh, honorable man um, and, and great athlete. What a treat for everyone in attendance tonight, and the fans cannot believe it. Spreading like a germ throughout the Fairfield Arena here. And the fans have shown that this is gonna be something special. Warren Michaels is about to deliver the ring intro of his professional career. And the fans 
cannot believe it either. Breaking out in chance of Misawa. Misawa. Misawa thought that uh, we had probably put some plants there. He, he didn't expect to get this kind of reaction from the Fairfield crowd, but man, I'll tell you, it, it, it sent chills through my body when the, the people started chanting his name. Uh, just like they do in Japan, everywhere he goes, Misawa very, very popular. And it should be noted that both Ogawa and Misawa were advertised as Mr. X and Mr. X 2000. The fans got a big surprise that night. We chose, there were some problems and we weren't sure if, uh, you know, it was going to happen. Uh, so we chose not to even advertise them on the card. And we just kind of crossed our fingers and hoped that they could be a part of our, our debut show. And it all came out about. And, I'll tell you, we were very, very excited to have him. As the intros for Misawa. Amazing reaction. The people love him. I mean, I was, I was shocked. You know, you don't see much Japanese wrestling over here other than video. I was surprised that uh, Mitsuhara Misawa and Ogawa have so many fans over here in the United States. Well, these PWI fans are not like ordinary independent wrestling fans they read about it on the internet they get the quote unquote dirt sheets they're very knowledgeable and they've been dubbed smart fans for a reason because they know who the top talents in the world are and they don't get much bigger than Yoshinari Ogawa and Mitsuharu Misawa the no. biggest match in Doug Williams and Vinny Masaro's respective careers to date they sure don't get any bigger than uh, Misawa. You know, for eight years I watched Misawa, the likes of uh, Kobashi and Akiyama um, in Japan, and I watched him on video, and I never dreamed that one day I would be in the ring with Misawa, but uh, I finally got my chance, and, and what an honor it was. Very nice series of reverses, and Doug using a forearm to uh, just end that little uh, chain wrestling there. Well, Yoshinari Ogawa should not underestimate either Williams or Masaro. Doug Williams can easily be dubbed a man of a thousand and moves and a thousand and one counters. Test of strength here. I think Doug's got Ogawa definitely beat on strength. Very nice uh, reversal there. Already using technique oversize in a series of reversals. Yoshinari Ogawa is keeping up toe to toe with Doug Williams in a top oh, wrist counters, lock. Counters with a kind of a. 80s breakdance move there. What was that? A backspin? A little electric boogaloo into a top wrist lock. Busting loose. Nice nip up by Doug Williams. It took out with the elbow. And the Swedish cravat by Doug Williams. Nice break. Broken. Good counter. Again into the cravat. Broken a third time. That cravat excruciating on the neck. And Yoshinari Ogawa, who's for years been known as a junior heavyweight in Japan, recently breaking out winning that heavyweight championship for pro wrestling Noah. Won it about four, four, four and a half minutes from Junakiyama. And that man is carrying the load of pro wrestling Noah in a very great nice. series of counters and they're at a standoff here. These fans, very appreciative as Doug Williams has a huge chore ahead of him. What a feather in the cap it would be in either Williams or Masaro to have a victory over true legends like Ogawa and Misawa, back to that knuckle nice test of strength. And uh, this, this is a hold you don't see a lot in the U.S. This is something very indicative to uh, England. And uh, Doug very well versed. The first time I ever wrestled uh, Doug, I was, I was, I felt like I was being wrapped up like a pretzel. This guy's incredible. He can turn you into a human pretzel. He knows all the techniques. But Ogawa is Ogawa stepping out of it. Nice, nice counter. Very, very clever wrestling. Beautifully done. But Doug Williams able to counter as well. Goes for the Insiguri. Doug ducks it. Locks him into an ankle submission. And that's what we're talking about. Doug Williams knows all the counters. And he knows how to get a man down from Ogawa. any position. Nice counter. Reached up, grabbed it, took it, took it to an uh, arm drag, a version of the Japanese arm drag looked like. There goes Ogawa out of the ring. Doug Williams launching Ogawa and already trying to shake off the pain in that left arm. Ogawa, he has the experience over both Williams and Masaro, but do not underestimate the fighting power of both Williams and Masaro. These two are young, hungry lions, young pups in the industry that have a name to prove, and there is the tag, Mitsuharu Misawa. Now Doug's going to get a taste of that uh, that forearm that is legendary. 
I'll tell you, I've been on the receiving end of that forearm way too many times. Very powerful man. Um, wrestled as Tiger Mask to begin his career. And uh, now one of the biggest wrestling legends in Japan, Mitsuhara Masawa. After that legendary series of fights with Jumbo Sharuda, Mitsuhara Masawa has established himself as the premier wrestler in all of Japan and he has literally made himself a celebrity in every household in Japan. Now Vinny Massaro tagged in. Vinny Massaro grew up watching Mitsuharu Misawa so this is a dream come true for him and can you imagine the type of elevation it would be in the career of Vinny Massaro? Can you imagine? I mean if he scored a win over Misawa, a, a legend in the world of wrestling. Oh man, an incredible back spinning elbow. Right in the jaw, in the mouth of Masaru. Just as we start talking about Vinny possibly winning the match, Vinny on the receiving end of some brutal uh, uh, forearms and, and uh, elbows from Masawa. Forward roll into a Boston Crab. Into a camel clutch. I'm sorry. God, the wrestler making a fatal error there. Terrible. Vinny Massaro so close to earlier on tapping out in this match, but able to power out of this submission hold and Ogawa tag. Well, I don't know if power had anything to do with that. I think Masawa just wanted to move this thing along, wanted to get in there and give Vinny a little taste of uh, what he and Ogawa can dish out. Looking at Vinny's uh, physique, I, I don't think there's a whole lot of power in that physique. I got to be honest with you. Well, again, do not be deceived. And has you know, I've seen more power in the Kool-Aid guy. You know, the big fat pitcher guy? You know, I love Vinny though. Don't get me wrong, Ron. Heck of an athlete, like I said. Well, there's where the weight advantage may come in handy as Ogawa trying a vertical suplex attempt in that lower center of gravity. Vinny reversing it. Yep, exactly. He's got that lower center of gravity. It's all, all around the uh, gluteus maximus area, and it keeps him heavy. Well, Vinny Massaro able to maintain an advantage. Now tagging Doug Williams in. And there's some lethal forms of his own on Ogawa. There goes Ogawa to the ropes, clothesline by Doug. Right in the mouth and already cover. getting the cover. Yeah, I, I didn't think he was gonna get him on that. I mean, I don't think any of the fans out there in TV land thought that either, Ron. Referee Tom Caster, however, right on top of things and exchanging forearms and uppercuts. Nice chops. Oh, went for another European, turned into a backslide, into the Enziguri, very nice. That time that Enziguri hit its mark and Doug Williams is seeing stars right now. Ogawa is down as well and both these men are already earlier on in this match feeling the effects. A little bit of a mistake by Ogawa, if I was him I would have tagged out right there. Well Ogawa, nailing him with the slam not even going for a cover a second time hooking that front face lock and yes now tagging, tagging Misawa. smart move Mitsuharu Misawa so many legendary matches throughout his illustrious career has not made an appearance in the United States in over 10 years I'll tell you what I'd love to see Ron I'd love to see a battle of the elbows Misawa versus the American Dream Dusty Rhodes, that would be something to see. The bionic elbow against the roaring elbow. I don't know. I... Save that for another day in time, but remember that elbow and form of Vinny Massaro also very lethal. So stiff and he's been known to knock out many an opponent as well, trying to encourage these Fairfield fans. To get behind Doug Williams. And Doug scooted out of that chin lock, turned into a nice uh, wrist lock counter. See, even from a defensive position, Doug Williams drops down with a drop toe hold and going to work, going back to the basics on Mitsuharu Misawa. Doug's making a fatal mistake here, though, man. He's got him way too close to the ropes. Misawa, I, I, I really believe that he's going to be able to reach those ropes and get out of this hold. Up oh, now, see, there you go. Smart wrestling. He turns it to a front face lock, cuts off that rope. Mate, I think Doug sensed the same thing I did. Getting in between his partner Ogawa, trying to cut the ring off and trying to keep Misawa at bay. And back, back into the their corner. corner. Here comes Vinny Massaro again, master of the meatball. Nice, nice series of boots to the gut. Vinny, very young at this time. Uh, how old is Vinny? I think he's like 24, 23 years old. Vinny, so I believe, is just about to turn 24, but already a five-year veteran in the business. And there's that power, that back elbow hook in the leg. Tom Caster counts two. 
Glad to see Vinny hooking the leg. Very important. Go for a cover, hook the leg. You may call him the master of the meatball as the photographer is taking pictures from around the world, but that's the one, the spicy meatball. That <laughs> man it. right there is going to prove himself as not just a comedy figure, but he will be a major impact fighter in the business. Sal's fighting out of the uh, chin lock. Oh, man, a devastating forearm. That one sent Vinny rocking. How many championships has Misawa won with that forearm and with that elbow? Tagging Ogawa in. Count. Ogawa just recently winning that championship with lefts and rights. Vinny trying to keep up. And nice again, tackle. there's that weight advantage coming into play here. Yeah, Ron, I think he got me. Okay, so he's got a weight advantage. He is using it to his, to his advantage, and so I guess it works for him. And the more experienced team. Big forearm by Misawa. Oh man, that one sent Vinny reeling. And I, I, like I said, I've been on the receiving end of that forearm many times, and it is no joke. Sending Vinny Masaro all the way outside, and Yoshinari Ogawa right on top of things. They're going to have a 20 count before they get back in the ring. Slamming Vinny's head into the apron. Some dirty wrestling there by Ogawa. Usually, um, a lot more technical. I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of surprised to see him just throwing him out there and slamming his head around like a big meatball. Well, their game plan has probably changed several times throughout the course of this match. Misawa tagged back in. European forearm of his own. They can throw out European in Japan as well. Vinny Masaro is down on his back. Drops down. Nice elbow, a cover, and another near fall there. So you don't think you could put away Vinny Massaro that easily. Vinny Massaro has wrestled against some of the top fighters around the world. And that back roundhouse kick again to the jaw. Misawa is little by little taking apart a cover and a two count. Vinny Massaro is not going to be put away that easily, even though Misawa and Ogawa have the advantage. Right hand by Ogawa got Vinny against the ropes, literally. And Vinny trying to shake off those Doesn't blows, and still he has the heart and determination to fight back. But it does not look good for Masaro at this point, Ron. Vinny Masaro is being kept at bay, whipped in, and a back elbow by oh. Ogawa. Ogawa charges over, nails Doug. Take care of that problem. Get get Doug fired up. Here comes the referee. Oh, oh Caster keeping Doug Williams out, and they could be doing some double teaming, choosing not to, however. Now, you see, that's where they made their mistake, Ron, and that's why Donovan Morgan and I will win every time. When we wrestle in Japan, the Japanese many times will not take advantage of a distracted referee. Myself being from the United States, I will take advantage of a distracted referee every single time. Misawa and Ogawa trying to do the honorable thing in this instance. Maybe that will come back to haunt them later on in the match. As already Doug Williams is tagged in and he is unleashing on Misawa and a knee to high the knee. jaw. Doug hits the ropes, another high knee. Down goes Misawa. High knee on Ogawa too. Levels him in the corner. Williams keeping Doug going both at bay. All the way from the top rope. What the hell is he going to do here? All the way across the ring. My God, what an incredible Oops, display. In one oh, man, I, I can't believe he didn't didn't uh, get the win on that one. He had Ogawa down, leaped all the way across the ring to hit, hit Misawa. Shades man. of Dynamite Kid, Harley Race, Chris Benoit. Doug Williams might be getting ready to score an upset here. Nice knee drop, second rope. In the mouth, one, two. Kick not out. a three. Again, that's what I'm talking about. Do not underestimate. These guys are hungry. These guys need to make a name for themselves. And if it's at the expense of a legend like Misawa, so be it, Mike Modest. Nice drop kick from the second rope by Mitsuha Misawa. Tagging out to Ogawa now. And the Noah champion coming in. Another chin dropper. Series of lefts and followed by that big powerful right. Doug with a nice reversal, sends him in, oh, tried to go for the back breaker, oh man, neck breaker. Beautiful swinging neck breaker, a lateral press, two and a half, it doesn't get much closer than that. Doug went for that uh, backdrop, he thought he had it, Vinny in for the save, Ogawa going to hit him with the uh, Luthez suplex, 
And Masaro launched outside, double teaming by Masawa and Ogawa, but a double clothesline from Doug Williams. Doug Williams is still holding his own against both Ogawa and Masawa. Doug showing so much heart, using the second rope actually to pull himself over to make the tag to Vinny Masaro. Literally. Here comes Vinny, let's see. Oh, a series of double elbow drops it looks like, yes. Again, that weight coming into play here, using all his weight to his advantage, keeping both Ogawa and Masawa at bay. I believe legally it's Vinny Massaro and Ogawa. Leg Lariat Leg Lariat. on Ogawa. You know, Vinny, even being out of shape, Vinny can still do some things that just amaze me every once in a while. That Leg Lariat, very well placed. And a nice near Massaro. fall there. You see, they're coming close to putting their uh, swinging neck breaker. Again, we might see an upset here. Mike Modest, one, two. Be, oh, man, that would be the, the shock of a lifetime to see the heavyweight champion of Noah defeated by this young upstart, Vinny Massaro. And Vinny, I'll tell you, he, he's amazing because really while he's never gotten the big break yet in the pro wrestling industry, Vinny has wrestled for many of the top independent promotions, including XPW, APW. Uh, Vinny, very, very good wrestler, uh, now wrestling for Pro Wrestling Iron. Incredible athlete. Very well-traveled. Again, already a five-year veteran, even though early in his career, early in his life. This probably the biggest match in his career. Can you imagine? the type of notoriety that they would get with a victory and it just might happen here tonight at Hot August Fights. All Here's four of them in there now. But the Japanese team fighting back. Now it looks like Misawa and Ogawa, now it looks like they're just gonna openly double team them. See now, why wouldn't you take advantage of a referee being distracted and now you're just gonna go in there right in front of the referee and just brutalize your opponent like this? Well, lots of times strategy goes out the window once the bell rings and... Sinsman dropped old. Here comes Masawa. Elbow drop. Nailed him. Doug Williams still on the apron as we have a two, almost a three count there. Ogawa now with hits the back him, suplex. Him with the back suplex, the Luthes suplex. And Doug Williams disposed of in this match. The legal man again, Vinny Masaro and Yoshinari Ogawa. Another suplex. this match they came close to putting Misawa and Ogawa away however experience will always come ahead in an instance like this so there are your winners the Very surprise cool. team Yoshinari Ogawa and Mitsuharu Misawa still again these two men Doug Williams and Vinny Masaro have the eyes of the world watching. They are not to be denied right now. They have a future and Mike Modest. What I'm hoping of is that when Vinny got dropped on his head, is you know, he's obviously got a headache or something, but I'm hoping that by tomorrow he'll remember to get in that gym and get his body in shape because that was the chance of a life.